Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the ninth tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we're going to wrap up our discussion on strings by checking out a few more string functions. So I have a file opened up in my text editor here. It's called string3.php and uh, on line number 6 in the file I have the opening PHP tag. On line number 15 I have the closing PHP tag and between the opening and closing tags I have some PHP code. So on line number 7 I have uh, created a variable called msg and short form for message and to it I have assigned a string value have a nice day and uh, there is an exclamation character here at the end and uh, then I have uh, you know typed in uh, the semicolon to terminate the statement on the next line I've just echoed out the value in the variable using the echo statement and uh, then I have uh, you know uh, an echo statement on line number 9 to get a new line I have passed in the break tag as a string value on line number 10, I have uh, the function str, str, right? This is short form for string in string. And uh, let's say you want to find out whether a string exists in another string or not. So let's say you want to find out if uh, the word nice is present in the string that's there in the variable message. To do that, I'll have to first type in the original string or the one in which you want to search for a string value. So, you know, I'm just going to type in the name of uh, the variable msg here. And then the second argument has to be the string that you want to look for, right? So I'll save the file and open it in my uh, browser, show you guys the output of the file. And uh, there we go. We first see the original string, which is have a nice day. And then we just see nice day. So what the str, str function does is it shows you the result and it first tells you whether you know it found something by displaying a value you know if you see a value it means that the string was found and then it displays everything beginning from that string so you know we look for the word nice so it first started displaying you know the word nice onwards but it didn't just stop there you know it showed us the rest of the string as well right so that's what the str str function does and uh, you also have the str pos function you know string position and what this does is it tells you the index position of uh, the first occurrence of a string in another string. So let's say you just want to find out what is the you know index position of the first occurrence of the word nice, you know, and even in that you want to just find out the you know index position of the starting alphabet which is n. And if you want to find out that, then you have to use the strpos function. And uh, we see seven here as the output. So we can count and make sure that that is the correct index position. So h is zero, a is one, v is two, e is three, the space is four, the second a is five, the next space is six, and n is seven, right? So the index position of n is displayed if you use the strpos function. If you use the str str function, you would see everything from the string nice onwards, right? Then I have uh, another string function on line number 14. The name of the function is strchr, short form for character and string. And uh, this one looks for the first occurrence of a character, not a string value, but a character. And that's why you see that I have it enclosed within single quotes here and not double quotes. And uh, you know, the initial uh, pattern is the same. You have to have a string value as the first uh, argument or a variable containing a string value as a first argument and then uh, you have uh, a character that you want to look for and it looks for the first occurrence of it. So in this string it would start searching from the leftmost character onwards and uh, it would stop at where it finds uh, the first occurrence of the character i and then it would print the uh, rest of the string. Right. So it's not going to just tell you the index position of the alphabet i, it's going to tell you you know everything that follows the alphabet i including the alphabet i so let's see what is the output that we get we see the output i stay right so it displays us uh, everything uh, starting from the first occurrence of the alphabet i in the string so that's it about strings in the next tutorial we are going to begin our discussion on numbers and i hope you guys had fun watching this tutorial and you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already see you in the next video till then take care